And good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Kazarian, and welcome to another episode of Factorio. All right, so what, we're, what are we doing today? Um, that's a pretty good question, actually. We are getting ourselves some better iron production. I actually kind of let the game run for a little while. Off camera, if you will. Um, not enough. You can see we're still working on the same research we've been working on. I just kind of wanted to get, you know, a little bit more resource stockpiled up for my use. We're still having that slowdown issue. I'm not certain what it is. I honestly suspect that it's a Factorio issue. Um, a Factorio Fraps conflict issue, let's say. Let's go with that. At least I hope it is. I hope it's not this laptop, but... Anyways, we'll get it figured out. Um, I'll have to deal with the slowness for right now, but that's all right. That's all right. Up until we figure out what's actually causing it, you know, it's going to be a bit hard to fix. So, we are still researching bullet shooting speed. Because I don't yet want to commit to actually, you know, switching over. All right. So, we could tap this little supply here, and honestly, I'm considering it. I'll probably move one of those when they're depleted over there. What we're really going to do, though, is we're going to tap this thing. If I can go like that. And let's get one more. I should probably start my timer again now, shouldn't I? There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Just one more. There we go. Flip that over. Oops. <laughs> let's pull these up. Alright, flip these around. Now, the setup I have and the belt system that I have can support up to, I believe, eight. Switch down. And let's switch down. down. Hopefully you guys can't hear the TV in the background. I really hope you can't. It doesn't sound like you could when I was getting ready to record. Doing my pre-record testing. Let's see. Cool. Let's put this down. Let's put this down. I do it right, I can get it over there, yeah. And we'll put that down. Let's get some more power needles here. And one there. So now we have six of these guys running. Some of them are going to run out fairly quickly. Um, that's okay. That's kind of what we have to deal with. But because of the setup, everything should be fairly distributed. There should basically be four on each side here. So we should see fairly even and balanced production here. Especially once we get over to here and we deal with that stuff over there. Are you out? No. You have another 553. Five, okay. So as we can see, everything is being pulled in. We should see more of these furnaces coming online and more iron being produced as we come along. So that's good for us. That is very good, because that means we're going to see a bit less bottlenecking going on. Okay, good. All right, so we have all that stuff we need. All right, that's awesome. Now, I want to see what we need for inserters. An electronic circuit, an iron gear wheel, and an iron plate. Well, I got the iron plate there. Let's see. I could do that, couldn't I? Yes, I could. I could, I could, I could. Okay. So here's what we'll do. We're going to go like this. And we'll put together one of these underground belts. We'll put that 
that there. And we'll do one of these over here. Okay. We'll put that up there. And we'll put that, that, that. Okay, good. That's all what I need. All right, so let's get one, two. Oh, bullet shooting speed. Um, something nice and easy. Flammables. Yeah, let's do that. Mostly because I don't want to deal with, you know, <coughs> I don't want to get too far ahead of myself and grow my laundry list a bit too large for comfort here. So let's go back by one. Do I want to do that, or do I want to have an output coming out? Well, I'm going to need... Yeah, okay. So I'm going to actually need one more, because I just realized... No, I'm not going to need one more. Okay, whatever. Give me some basic inserters, will you? All right, well, I'm not going to need one more, because I realized I'm going to need to stockpile and export. All right. So let's go, like that and like that and I can't use those anyways because I need to use these assembly machine tubes all right that's what over here pull that open get some more of that and get some assembly machine tubes so assembly machine tubes you guys probably saw in a previous episode not only assemble faster, but they also actually do a slightly better job. They assemble faster, but also they can assemble more items simultaneously, which is actually what I'm really looking for with this. So put that there, all right? We'll go like that and like this, come on. Perfect. Okay, and then I need two of you. So we're going to go with production, that, basic inserter, basic inserter. You have electronic circuits right there. What are you having issues with? Oh, you've already produced them. Oh. Well, that explains that much. So like that. Not exactly what I wanted to do. We'll go with a wooden chest. We'll put that there, and another one like that, which means another power conduit. Like that. And we need another one like this. And we'll block off to there. Beautiful. So we now have some more production for inserters. That's wicked nice as far as I'm concerned. We're getting a nice factory setup going here. So we'll go to here. We'll come up and we'll drag these down. Oops. There we go. And I want some more of these. this, like this, and output and output. There we go. So now we have these on a line. Nice. Of course, they're on the wrong side of said line. <sighs> so we'll have to do an overcross when we get over there, but that's neither here nor there. It's nice and fast at least. Or we can just have an output on this side, outputting over to here. I think that's actually more likely at this point. Is there anything else we really want to be producing now? I don't think so. Um, unless we produce some of these. Electronic circuits, iron plates, iron gear wheels. So iron plates, electronic circuits, iron plates. Well, we could just split that line. I mean, that's always a probability, a possibility. Um, but we're having some issues keeping up with the iron gear wheels, to be frank. Yeah, so here's what we'll do. Let's pull that. 
And one, two, three. That works. Now oh, we still have those burner miners up in our inventory too. We should really take care of that at some point. All right, so we're gonna just drop these guys. These guys should be significantly faster. Actually, they're fast enough. The real bottleneck isn't the production. It's those things. Do I have fast inserters now? I do. So let's go one, two, three. So now we're overloading the other direction. That's fun. Okay. <laughs> we can deal with that. All right. That works too. Uh, but we have plenty of enough of these we can guys to reproduce over here. That's good. That's very good. And our research on flammables is almost done. Okay. So that means... I don't even know what frame is used for, to be honest with you guys. So this means that we're going to have to do something a little bit more creative now. Okay. That's fine. We're going to need to start with oil refining, which is my most favorite activity. Not really, but close enough. Close enough for government work. How is this going? Electric demand satisfaction. How are we looking here? Oh, beautiful. Okay, not even close. All right. So if we come up to here, well, we have some oil here, and we have some oil down here, too. Honestly, I think the easiest place to put this is probably going to be down over here. Or up here, maybe? This is the issue. I always have trouble deciding where I'm going to stick this stuff. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's get sulfur processing researched. Yeah, we got plenty of oil over here. Okay. So let's start getting some pump jacks going. We need steel. So we need steel processing now. Ugh, okay, steel processing. Steel processing. Um, so in that case, let's go over here. We'll do advanced material processing because before we get to steel processing, I actually want to work on some other stuff. So let's not go straight up for super steel yet. Let's actually get one of these guys. And let's come down here and let's make some coal. Here. And guys, I really apologize for the slowdowns, but it's if you want to get videos while I'm on vacation, we're just going to have to live with it. You know, that's that's the end story of it. We're just going to have to live with the fact that it's going to take us a little while to deal with it. All right. What was I doing down here? Oh, yeah, I was dropping off this. There we go. Just getting out of the old inventory. So, that's going to hook up like that. Now, what do I need for green science packs? Because I have the suspicion that I actually pretty much have everything I need. Uh, green science packs. Transport belts and basic inserters. Well, we have the transport belts here, but they're not any place where we can get them out, really. That's the issue. Okay, that's fine should give myself a little more space here. What I could also do is kind of rearrange this a little bit, right? I could connect these thing, right? These basic inserters. Yes, that is exactly what I'll do. Okay. So let's, oh, it's going to have to rewire this whole bloody thing. Oh gosh. I can't do that. I really can't do that, what I was going to do there. That is fine. That is fine. Put them up to there. Put it out a little bit up. Could do that. That's going to be a pain in the rear end, though. 
Yeah, but it's going to work. All right, that'll work. So let's get a long inserter. Let's flip this over, right? And then let's get this pulled back. Let's get one of these, okay? So we'll have this outputting like that and up, right? And then this will auto join into this line up here, right? But now the cool thing is we have both of these on a single line, okay? So if we pull these guys forward, right? And of course we have a slowdown again. That's fine. And the nice thing is this is going to auto-limit. Okay, I actually like the way this is turning out. Because this is going to be auto-limited because it's only pulling out of one of these. Okay, let's do this. And we can yank this across as well. Just so we know where this is all going, right? Right. So then we have this come out, right? this come out and then so we're having a line that comes down like this Need one of these right and then we need we need more iron again okay we require additional iron Oh, look at this. They're all, almost all of these are running now. That's awesome. Okay, I like that a lot. So pull that. And we'll get some more of these guys, because here's what we're going to do. We're going to cheat a little bit. Well, not really cheat, but get this to work out really nice. So we're going to come down here, right? So then that, we'll put one there. And then we'll have a line that's running like this. get some underground belt. We'll do that, that, and then we'll split the line, right? Because we like our splitters. We use a lot of splitters. We're going to split it, come out, and come down. Okay. And then we're going to get another one of these. And we will go with green science packs. Put that there and that there, right? And we'll go down, down, down. And then we'll go over like that, right? Put that there, put that there. And we'll connect these green and green. Beautiful. Alright. So that's coming out like that. And we can put that out there. Put this out there. And now we're going to have to run these guys down. Alright. We need to get this down here somehow. I want to deal with. Bring this all the way back there. Well, we're not splitting this line. So what I can do, I guess, is I can say another underground belt. Right? We can do with an underground belt here. Like that. And I can run it back along transport belt again. It's one of the things I love about this game. They're always problem solving. So if I come down, come down, 
I have to come up, over, down, right? Because then I need another underground belt. Let's make it as underground as we can get it, all right? Because part of the issue is I wanted to connect to that without connecting... Let's see how far I can reach this. <laughs> Not far enough. Okay. One short there. That's unfortunate. All right. So I'll have to... Blink that. Because, yeah, that's silly, I know, but <laughs> it's honestly the best I can do. And it shouldn't muck up the system too much, because I can continue this line out. So let me show you how I can do it, actually. What I can do is I can go with an underground, like that, right? And then let's get that extra science unit that I have upstairs. Upstairs, up north. I think upstairs, thinking in Minecraft terminology, I think there's a science unit out here somewhere. Uh, here maybe? Yes, okay. And I can bring this back down with me. All the way down, all the way down here. And this isn't actually going to mess up things too much, because that down, and then I'm going to throw this guy down, like that. And there we go. We are now functional and operational, and we're producing more green science. Yay. And what we can do is we can expand this even more if we wanted to we put another row over here producing even more green science. But I don't think that that's going to be entirely necessary, to be frank. All right, I think we should be fine just with what we're doing right there. So let's see how much steel we have coming out. As we jog slowly and painfully down the road. Steel? We have 27 of it. Taking a bit too long to produce all that steel for us. But at least that that means that we might be able to get started with the oil industry in the next episode, I'm thinking. Yeah, I think next episode we'll be able to get started with that oil industry. Okay, so guys, this has been Mr. Kassarian. I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, guys, do remember, if you like this episode, give me a like, a comment, or a subscription. Guys, just let me know you're out there. Let me know you are enjoying what I'm working on. Also, if you have any thoughts or improvement or any suggestions, please do not hesitate to let me know. Do not hesitate to let me know vocally. I don't mind, honestly. I don't. Ooh, we got a copper. Ooh, we should fix that soon. Okay, guys, so we'll fix that up in the next episode. This has been Mr. Kasarian. I want to thank you guys for watching. And as always, guys, happy mining.